Well, Dan's quiet time is now over. I'm gonna be bugging him again for this next probably week. All right, so we got this gorgeous blue. I was on vacation for a couple weeks. That's right, he was on vacation <laughs> away from we me. We don't get vacation here. <laughs> Our vacation is Saturday, Sunday. Working on a weekend right. like usual. So obviously we got this blue convertible C7, which you don't see that often. As you can see, bam. Some corset tips right there. I think this basically just has an exhaust, right, Dan? It's got uh, headers, of course, the headers and uh, full oh. uh, cap back. Okay, so it has a full exhaust. Yeah, I think those are, of course, the headers, too. Man. I believe so, I'm not. Hmm. Either way, it's got a better than stock exhaust already on it. We are going to be doing a Maggie 2650 on this one. That's correct. And then this one's going, going to be getting a built trans as well. Getting the whole fuel system, axles. Fuel system. Yeah, this will be another good build. This thing will be a beast when it's done. I think it's getting our stage two cam. Uh, hmm. Throttle body. Yeah, getting a 103 throttle body. It's a nice car, actually, obviously, with the exhaust already sounding nice, but now we'll get that cam chop. What's your guess for. Uh, well, we don't know. We don't know yet if it's on E85 or 109 or what he's doing with it. It's probably going to be on 93. Yeah. Fresh from Florida. I'm not sure what they have there in terms of gas, but I think it'll make a solid at least 800 something. 800, 850? Yeah. yeah. Either way, this is going to be a cool build. Let's get to it. Alright, we got Dan putting the cam in here. He's pretty much almost done. Just gotta get that last, last little bit in. Like butter. Aw, oh, dang, there we go. It is Monday now. Dan tore everything apart Friday. Um, now, first thing Monday, Dan, I said, just put the cam in. And I believe he'll probably get the well pump on, cam gear, all that stuff, all the good things with it. Start getting this car back together. All right, so as you can see, Dan is just finishing up scotch writing the uh, the block, getting the heads ready to be put on. He's already got the balancer on. Do you know what it is? What is it, an 8.8? Uh, 9.4. Oh, 9.4, okay. Yeah. You got a big one. And then he's pretty much got all the accessories on, got the steering rack put back together. And then you doing, you gonna put the heads on? Yeah, I gotta change the balance board first. Oh, that's and right. I'll put the heads on. Yeah. Looks good though. Of course it does. <laughs> dunna, dunna, dunna. Damn. What's going on over here? Looks like, like you're doing the springs? Yep. Where you at? You on the second head, first head? Second head. Nice, okay. Double spring, much nicer than factory. Good deal. Once these are done, you can slap them on, huh? Yeah. All right. So as you can see, Dan got the oil pan back on. He's got the first header on. He's working on the second header right now. Um, Swapping the O2s, and plugging the plugging the first one. So Dan actually made some pretty good uh, progress yesterday. Unfortunately, all my cameras were being used to film another car, so I wasn't able to. You can. So I wasn't able to film this. But Dan got the heads on. Um, so as soon as he drops the car, I'll show you guys that. But. All right. So obviously you can see Dan has pretty much got all of the pulley system on, water pumps on, all the other pulleys. Pretty much everything's on here. Um, Dan obviously got the heads finished. I barely had any time. I barely caught him uh, putting a couple springs in on one head. He already had the other one done. Um, but the heads are on. You just see he's putting this header on now. 
after that, I'm not sure what else is left on the motor except for, uh, ooh. I'm not sure what else is left on the motor except for to start putting everything up top, start getting it ready for the supercharger. All right, what's next on the list? Uh, <clears throat> probably starting with Maggie. That's what I was thinking. I was like, everything else looks pretty much done. All right, just got back from lunch. And one's uh. All right, we're back. Let's see the Magnuson 2650 is on the car. Dan's got it looks like most uh, vacuum lines, everything all finished up. Let's see, fuel lines are all good. Everything's good. Looks like he really just has the hat left to do. He's got a few of the bolts started. He's got some left. Um, other than that, man, this thing's real close to being finished motor-wise. We still gotta do the transmission. Um, but I'm gonna put the intake on, all that stuff, man. This thing's getting real close. Like said, at least up here. We still got a few things left to do on the on the other parts of the car, fuel system in the back, stuff like that. But damn busted away with this motor. It's looking good. I'm ready, let's throw her on. So you got the gaskets and everything in. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Dan. Pretty good. Looks good. Really good. The other uh, color combination where you can do reverse, right? Where you leave the blue, where it's blue right now, you can leave it uh, machined and then reverse it to the... I think this way is better. Yeah. With this color anyways. I like the complete billet. I like the raw billet look. And there you have it. Intake is on. Dan's getting a couple fittings left a couple small things here and there on it and that she's pretty close to being able to start it's looking good i love that the blue billet lid and then the five inch cold air intake that we custom fabbed that's good stuff this car looks good under the hood it's gonna sound good too i'm excited for it Here we go, moment of truth. Yes, buddy. Elias's 2019 C7 Z06. I believe it came in with headers already on it, but like headers in airbox. But we did our full cam package. Uh, the new 2650 blower, and obviously our new beautiful billet lid. Let's, uh, let's fire in the hole real quick. Ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Let's see what she does. Mm -hmm. Shaking pretty good. Let Dan check 
all the fluids again. And then we can get the hood on it and hopefully to the dyno. What is today, Friday? So we'll put some miles on it. You got a new transmission in it, new axles in it. Oh yeah, it's got everything, huh? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll put some miles on it and we'll definitely put on the dyno next week. Different uh, convertible, we don't do many of them, but she looks good. Oh, yeah. The carbon stripes and everything. Mm -hmm. It's a nice car. I like it, I like it. Yeah, leave your comments below. I'm sure I'll say it 10 times. What y'all think of the lid, guys? If y'all like the powder coat, if y'all like it all billet, I want to know what y'all think. We have mixed reviews, the guys at the shop. Some people like it all billet, some people want them all black, some people like the different colors for the cars, so y'all let us know. I'm just getting started on it. Uh, I've only made three pulls. 678, 774, third pull just made 808 and 709 torque. Um, again, as far as on 93 octane, so uh, I'm not going crazy with timing. Uh, I still got a lot more room to go, but again, I don't want to go too crazy with 93 in it. Um, the air is really good right now. I'm surprised it's actually making about 17 pounds up top. Uh, it's between 15 and 16 pounds on the scanner, but yeah, uh, this is our 1,000 horsepower package, so 800 to 850 rear horsepower on 93 octane is where it needs to be at, and I'm on my third pull, and I still got room to go, so I'm happy, and I think he's going to be happy, it looks killer, um, and it is Friday night, so what we'll do is uh, I'll make a few more pulls, we'll get it done, we'll spend time on Monday since this one has my lid on it. I want to go back and forth from the billet lid to the factory lid, back to the billet lid so we can see the gains. Um, that way once I'm finished tuning it, I can leave timing and air fuel alone and just see what the gains are from bolting it back on and if I have to make uh, adjustments for fueling because the billet lid flows a little bit more, we can do that, but we'll do R&D stuff on Monday. It's late. I don't want to be here all night. My wife will kill me. <laughs> Which She's probably already blowing me up right now. So, yeah, I'll make a few more pulls, guys, and we'll finish on Monday. You coming? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Um, all right, so Monday morning, just finished up Elias's car. Uh, just a few little tweaks to the air fuel, a little bit to the timing. We finished up with 864 to the tires, 
67, 68 torque. Again, awesome numbers for our 1,000 horsepower package. Uh, the billet lid obviously is more efficient than the factory one. Uh, making those kind of numbers on 93 octane is super impressive. That torque is gonna be great. So once it gets good tires on it, uh, at least we'll be able to use it. But yeah, that's where we are at. We're done on the dyno, and then uh, I'm gonna go street drive it and see how she does.
be a nine second car all day long, obviously with the right tire on it. This tire on it, we might go 12s, but with the right tire on it, nine second car all day long, hop in it, drive it, no issues. Uh, you know, I talk a lot about these superchargers. These 2650s are super efficient. Uh, intake air temps on these things are awesome, even though it's not 100 degrees out like it normally is. Even when we do these in the summertime, we can go out on the highway and make pulls on these things and it amazes me how much better they are than some of these older 2300 blowers that we used to do back in the day or even the old 1900s we used to do back in 2005.